Valerie Villy, now Valerie Adams, is a two-time Olympic shot put champion. Jean-Pierre saved, saved me. He saved my career. He saved me as a person. He saved everything and everything that I'd lived for and trained for, he saved it all. Without him, the last two World Championships and the Olympic Games would not be a possibility. Valerie trains in Switzerland for most of the year with renowned shot put champion and now coach Jean-Pierre Eger at the Swiss National Sports Centre, Maglingen. Being over there was a change of scenery, change of culture, change of language, change of everything. And it was just me and Jean-Pierre and the training centre. So Mucklingen is their Olympic centre, also known as basketball. I've been very fortunate and very lucky that uh, Mucklingen has come on board and supported me and been able to let me train there for free. Jean-Pierre has also worked there for 40 years and, and Werner trained there for 20 odd years. So there's obviously been a lot of history as far as Mucklingen is concerned with Werner, Jean-Pierre, now myself and also Matthias. My uh, French has improved over the last three years, being with Jean-Pierre, he coaches me in French, except he does say that when I do get frustrated, I switch to English, obviously my mother tongue. Uh, next year I'm going to try and enrol in a Swiss-German school and, and learn some Swiss-German because my training partner, Matthias Sempach, is Swiss-German, so, you know, you got to cover all the bases while I'm there. <laughs> I live in Biel. I definitely embrace the fact that I do live in a multicultural city and um, I feel comfortable being there and I stand out because I'm six foot four but um, colour wise I think I, I just sort of blend in with the rest of them. I quite like the way they eat and, and, and the type of food they have. My coach's cheese fondue is the bomb and he also makes a really good raclette. I mean the other thing I did pick up interesting in their culture was going to a swing fest. Now swing fest is they all um, wrestle in undies, well not undies, like pants that they pull up, on uh, sawdust. So while you're at the stadium, my training partner's competing, and at that swing fest, my training partner Matthias became the king, the winner, the gold medalist, whatever you want to call it. So it's a very, very big deal there. And Matthias, with his brother Stefan Sempak, and Matthias Segenthaler, came this year uh, here to New Zealand for four weeks for a training camp. So I got to show them where I train, where I live, our culture and they were shocked a little bit but at the same time I think they embraced it. Our beaches, you know because over there they didn't have beaches, they were so excited over the beaches they went swimming every day at Takapuna Beach. Yeah, every day I went to Takapuna Beach and started swimming. They even drove down to some swing fest not far from New Plymouth. They drove down, competed, won themselves a goat or whatever and then they drove back up. So I think they embraced the culture as much as I have embraced their culture over there.